So in this video, we're gonna demystify what exactly state is in React and how you can use it to build awesome stuff. But in order to really get into the nuts and bolts of state in React, it's important to understand where this idea of state even came from. And so if you look at what Zuck is tipping us off to, this idea of state machines, this comes from computer science. And so the definition of a state machine is that it is a machine that has a finite number of states, uh, which means that basically you know all the possible ways that this machine could be configured at any given time. But it, that doesn't really give us a good explanation of what a specific state is though. Um, and I think the easiest way to describe a state in this sense is it's just a snapshot of all the variables um, that are set at a current point in a program's uh, execution cycle. So for example, if you open up the Facebook app, your name is set as a string to your first name and your last name. Your ID is set as an integer. Uh, what page you're on is, might be set as another string or a Boolean. Um, and so that's the general idea behind a state is that your programs are really these collections of variables that will change. And uh, with a state machine, you can anticipate all the different states your program could possibly be in. So this is all probably like very abstract and it might be a little hard to kind of grasp your mind around, but you might not realize it, but you actually use state-based machines in your everyday life. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those and it, this might make a bit more sense after that. Um, I want you to think really quick about what the difference is, if you had to put a word on it, between water and ice. Think about it and you'll probably say, well, it's the temperature, right? And that is totally correct. Now, let's go one level back though. What is a temperature? What is that? And if you think about it, it's a measurement of thermal energy. So the key word here being measurement, because what does measurement mean? Well, that means it is, this is being tracked, temperature is being tracked with a known value. So if these are all the values that could possibly be known, so let's say this is a zero on the Kelvin scale because that's absolute cold. And uh, well, we, there's actually no absolute hot, it's still kind of theoretical, we'll just go question mark, but we know it's like an integer, it'll be like, you know, 32 or whatever, whatever have you, 500, this, this is not to scale obviously. But, but the big idea here is that because we know all the possible values that the temperature could be, we also therefore know all the possible states that water could be in when the temperature is at any of these given values. So this is kind of a really incredible insight because what this means is that if you can change the variable in the situation, which is the temperature, that's how you can change the state. So for example, with water, uh, you know, right now in my house, it's about 67 degrees, a little chilly. Um, and right now water is a liquid. Now, let's say that I, you know, got a little rambunctious. Hey, you know what? I'm going to set the house on fire. So I set the house on fire and, and now the, the inside of the house, uh, you know, let's say it gets up to 250 degrees, right? Uh, well, what happens to our state? Well, it turns into a gas. Now, if I was in Chicago, which I don't live there anymore, but if I was, it's really cold there. So, uh, you know, once this house starts burning down, the, the, once the air outside hits the, the water particles, uh, you know, the temperature, let's call it, you know, let's call it 18 degrees. So it's pretty chilly. So from a gas, it would turn into a solid, very small, you know, little frozen particles, but nonetheless a solid. But this is really cool because it means that, you know, if you can change the temperature, you can change the state of this system. And that's the key idea behind making React components with state. So we're going to make a React component out of this exact example where we have the temperature and uh, we'll tell you if water is a solid, liquid, or gas out of it. And the general high-level overview of it is, you know, up here we're setting our state and get initial state, as you can see. Uh, we're setting the current temperature to 10. And then in the render function, we'll pull down that current temperature and based on uh, the freezing and boiling points, it, we'll find out if it's a solid, a gas, or a liquid, and then we'll output that over here. And that's the component we're gonna be making. Now, a good example of how you might use state for building everyday widgets and apps, applications uh, is well served by a drop-down menu because it's simple and it's, it's something you've probably implemented before. Um, and with state, you know, we would have, you know, some sort of variable probably that would be is open and in this, if it's false, that means nothing's, you know, the cursor's not hovering over it, which right now there's, uh, there's nothing hovering over there. But in this instance down here, if I were to hover the cursor over, then uh, what we would want to happen is we would want change is open to true which would therefore show all of these lovely items that normally wouldn't have shown up over here because the state changed. And so this, these are the sorts of things that you can do using state in React.